Hi, Barry from Birdwatch World here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the Nikon Pro Staff 3S 8x42 binoculars, which I have been using for birding now for quite some time, and I really do like them. Uh, starting with the look and the feel of them, as you can see, they're a real sleek looking pair of binoculars. They really have nice lines and they look really quite stylish and they feel good in your hands. They're rubber armored, so they do grip to your hands and you're not going to let go of these. They're really quite nice feel. They've got the scalloped bits here at the sides where your fingers and your hand really fit nicely in there and they feel really strong and stable in your hands. The weight of them is just right to be not too much, but not, not enough. <laughs> not too much, but not too little. I, for example, get a lot of neck pain and having these hanging around my neck for a few hours is really no trouble at all. They don't hurt my neck, which is great, but they are heavy enough so that you feel like you've got control of them. So they're not moving around too much and spoiling the image of your bird that you're looking at. The action of the interpupillary distance here, so moving it, the uh, lenses further wide or further close together is a really good feeling mechanism. There's resistance there. You can just feel that it's nice quality. And that kind of feel is also in the focus ring here, which is not super fast. It's not a very quick focus. There's actually quite a distance between close focus and far away focus. You're probably going to have to turn this about five times to get from one to the other, but the focusing is very good. I can also focus these with one hand. You, Depending on your hand size, you may or may not be able to do this. My index finger from the knuckle here to the end of my finger is nine centimeters. So that gives you an idea of whether or not you'd be able to do this, but I can hold these quite comfortably and focus with the one hand. It's no trouble at all. And that's good for me at the moment because I have a little bit of tennis elbow. As you can see, I've got my elbow strapped up. So holding, these up with two hands is causes a lot of pain in my tennis elbow so I can if I need to I can do this with one hand and still focus them it's no problem whatsoever. Now they have a three step eye relief adjustment here as you can see you just turn these eye pieces up or down to adjust the eye relief for your eyes. This is helpful if you wear glasses, for example, which I probably should with binoculars, but I don't. So if you wear glasses, you keep the eye relief all the way in, you keep those pushed all the way in, and that gets the binocular far enough away from your eyes to be able to use them correctly. And then if you're not wearing glasses, you can hear those, it clicks in to three separate positions there. So uh, I normally use them at the second position. I'll dial them out to the second. That's just right for me, but you can choose whatever lo works for you. These do not lock into position. They are, they are fairly stuck in that position, but you can knock them and they will move around. That's another thing that I find uh, a little bit annoying about these binoculars, but it's not a game changer. They do not lock into position, so they will move. Just be aware of that. Now they come with these protective covers for the ocular lenses. So they just sit over the end there and they protect your ocular lenses from dust and grime and dirt and stuff when you're not using the binoculars. They are set up so that they can be threaded through the strap, as you can see, if the camera will focus, there we go. So you can thread them through the strap and that means that you don't lose them. One side of them actually has a little separated part on the plastic there, if you can see that. And so you can slip your strap in and out of there and just have them attached to one side. So it attaches permanently here, but on the other side, you can move it in and out, but they don't get in the way when you're using the binoculars. If you have your strap set up properly, you can just uh, take them off. You just take them off, slide them down. And they, as you can see, they don't get in the way they do touch your chin area here, but it's, it doesn't really bother me. So they're fine. You can choose to use them or not <laughs> really. Um, I do like to use them. Now your the interpupillary distance of the binoculars. So this is uh, interpupillary distance is the distance 
from one pupil to the other of your eyes. Now, this is something that you can't measure yourself because you'll be trying to look at the measurement and your eye and your pupils will move inwards. You need to have a friend or loved one measure your interpupillary distance. So you would stand there, you would look straight ahead and they come up with a ruler and put it on your under your pupils and measure the distance from one to the next. The interpupillary distance on the ProStuff 3S is 5.6 centimeters to 7.2 centimeters or 2.2 to 2.8 inches. Interpupillary distance is a very important thing for you to keep in mind when you do buy binoculars because if you have eyes that are fairly wide apart or fairly close together, you want to make sure that you can actually position the ocular lenses in front of both eyes, otherwise you can't use them. So always keep that in mind. It's a very important thing to be aware of. The low light performance of these binoculars is fantastic. Um, the other night, I went out to uh, a headland called Bear Bluff, which is at the southern end of Sandy Beach here where I live. There's a lot of uh, white-bellied sea eagles that often pass over and osprey and all sorts of wonderful birds. And I was coming back just after dusk and looking through these binoculars would actually appeared brighter than with my naked eye to me. So it was really great looking at the foliage on the side of the sand dunes. Uh, all the shadowy areas were quite dark when I looked at them with my naked eye, but through these it brightened up the shadows and I could pick out shapes and, and birds if I wanted to in amongst the dunes. So it was really, the low light performance is really quite good. And that's because of the 8x42 magnification, the 42mm front lenses here do let in quite a lot of light. One thing I was disappointed with about these binoculars is they do not have a tripod mount underneath. As they're quite light, you really don't need it unless you're a, the type of person that gets a little bit seasick looking through binoculars when because the image does move a lot because your hands move and that can make a lot of people feel a bit queasy. So if you are that type of person, getting a pair of binoculars with a tripod mount might be good for you. Uh, you can get brackets to put onto your any binocular that will then screw onto the tripod if you like. So if you really liked the ProStar 3S, um, the lack of tripod mount is not a game changer. It wasn't for me. It would come in handy to take pictures through the binoculars if you're using a a digiscoping mount, which uh, I use one. I don't have it here. I will go and get it in a second. And having that stable, that stability when you're trying to take photos would be an advantage. So, but no tripod mount. These, the binoculars come with this little pouch. Uh, not sure what it's made of, but it's, it's quite padded and your binoculars can fit in there, even with the strap on. You just pop your ocular lens covers on there, close the bag. They fit in there just nicely. So you've still got the strap hanging out. You can carry them around in that if you want to. Um, so that's quite a nice little bag there. And they also come with these covers for the objective lenses so they can clip in there. I do find with these, they do tend to flick out if, they're, if you've got the binoculars loose in a bag, for example. Um, or when you're pulling them out of the pouch, they will sometimes flick off, but they are in there quite sturdily. You can see that I'm applying a bit of pressure there and it took a little bit to get them out. So that'll protect your objective lenses. Now they are waterproof up to one meter or 3.3 feet for up to 10 minutes, according to the Nikon website. Now, I'm not going to immerse my pair in water for 10 minutes to test this out for you, but I will dunk them into water just to prove to you that they are waterproof. All right, so here we are. I have a little tub of water here. I have my Nikon Pro Stuff 3S binoculars. I'm going to dump them in the water fully immersed to prove that they are waterproof. Now, I have not done this before, so I have no idea if it's going to ruin them or not, but if it does, like I said, I can send them back to Nikon and say, excuse me, but you said they were waterproof and they are not. So here goes, dumping them into water in three, two, one, in they go. 
Okay, so they're almost fully immersed. There's just a little bit of the top here poking out. Um, no bubbles, which is a good sign for me. So uh, that means that they are in fact waterproof. Awesome. They are also fog proof as they are nitrogen filled and sealed so they will not fog up either, which is very handy. So all in all, the Nikon Pro Stuff 3S are a very good pair of binoculars for birding. They, with the 8x42 magnification, it provides just enough light and also makes them not too heavy to cart around for a long time. Ergonomic, feel great in your hands. You could do worse than owning a pair of these.